Hey guys, welcome back to day 30 of 31 days of Halloween and this is not my wife. What? <laughs> Who's this? Stranger oh from a strange land. Stranger danger. Obviously this is not Jackie. This is my mom. Hello everyone. My mom is a worldwide explorer. She has her own YouTube channel called Our Life V3 and they are about to go backpacking across New Zealand. New Zealand. I'm not stressed out at all. <laughs> I think she's more stressed than I am. If you guys want to see some of their amazing adventures, definitely go check out their channel. We'll link it down below. But today we have something really special for you. If you guys could tell, I am a haunted mansion enthusiast. I was hoping to actually do the haunted mansion walkthrough, but I lost the footage. So we're just gonna go with the second best thing, which is the haunted mansion game of life. <laughs> So welcome to the Haunted Mansion Game of Life unboxing. It's still in its plastic. So we're gonna open it and tell you everything that's inside. Ooh. You know, they they missed an opportunity. Shouldn't that have been the afterlife? <gasps> oh, this should have been. <laughs> they should hire you. <laughs> the back says, welcome foolish spirits. It's delightfully unlivable here in the afterlife. Oh, oh. Yeah, mm. I got you. Yeah. Will you attend the Boo University or start a career? Choose wisely along the way, for a grim grinning ghost will come out to socialize or derail you from the prize. Your chilling challenge is to arrive at the final destination with the most screams and join the other 999 happy haunts who have retired at the Haunted Mansion. They're dying to meet you. Oh, this is how you get to be the thousandth ghost? Oh. oh. Man, all this time I've just been like, I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! Alright, so we're not actually gonna play the game of life because I feel like that'd be boring to watch us play the game of life. You ready to open it? I'm ready to see you open it. The cut has been made. Now it is worthless. Here's some ASMR for you guys. is no oh <laughs> i will explain it to you after the video okay okay Ooh, look at oh, madame yeah. leona look at that she's shiny but she opens and closes her eyes and she's very shiny <gasps> poppers Hi. right here mom it says welcome to the afterlife oh, they really had you they did you're not needed no nope. you're fired i am hi giselle Welcome to the party. <laughs> oh, Ooh, things fell out. So this is all the game pieces. This is what fell out. The instruction guide. Apparently we have to put the game together. Huh. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's cool. It is it's cool. wallpaper. So this is what the board looks like pre Filling it out. Shall we put it together? Need my Bob the Builder hat. Okay, that's the completed board. So here are the bank loans. You could borrow on any turn. Here's a pay raise. Oh, it's Master Gracie. He's the money. Ooh, 100,000. Screams. The fine gentleman on top of the dynamite barrel is 50,000. The fine gentleman on top of his two fine gentleman friends who are sinking in quicksand is worth 10,000. Constance Hatchaway is worth 20,000. Fun fact, that's Constance Hatchaway. Did you know that? Mom? I did not know that. Now I do. You know, the name fits. And then this girl whose name I do not know is worth a measly $5,000 or screams. Sorry. All right, so some examples of the cards. All right, we got a shoe box, a pine box, 
stone vase. Oh, I guess these are all the places that you could be uh, placed after your untimely demise. A wood coffin, sarcophagus. Well, these are fun. Yeah, I mean, I think that they did pretty clever on these. Okay, so those are all the houses. Then you're, you could be a lawyer, an architect, a veterinarian. I didn't know there was a veterinarian. A chef. So these are fortune teller. Can you imagine being a maid in the afterlife? Oh. What a terrible Come on. job. <laughs> All right, we got long-term investments here. Oh, just getting progressively darker. I don't know what these are for. Share the wealth. Spin to win an exemption card. So like, I haven't played the game of life in such a long time. I don't actually really know how this game works anymore. <laughs> Your piece looks like it's a doom buggy. Made for six, buggy. which means it's twice the amount of the Doom buggies that they have in Disney parks, and it comes in six colors for your doomy pleasure. Oreo, Rio, Oreo, Rio. <laughs> All right, so there's the game of life. Ah! But now, because it's day 30, that means that we couldn't just leave you guys with one awesome Halloween themed game. So instead, we're leaving you with two. So, Ooh, oh I yeah. See. So this is the game of Clue. It's the Disney theme park edition. And it's the Tower of Terror, which is also one of my favorite rides ever. You don't say that right. The Tower of Terror. Oh my god, look at Mickey. Oh man, he's got attitude. Based from the front of this, my best guess is that Mickey is the husband and Minnie's the wife, who looks a lot like Jessica Rabbit. Donald is a movie person. Mm -hmm. A director. A director, yes. Goofy's a bellhop. A Daisy. Daisy's the little girl with the doll. And I don't know who Pete is, but he's clearly one bad cat. So the back says, <laughs> Clue! The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror edition puts a new spin on a classic favorite. The setting is 1939. Hollywood. Amongst the glitz and glitter of a hustling, bustling Hollywood something show town. In the historic Hollywood Tower Hotel is the center stage for this intriguing mystery adventure. A cast of your favorite Disney characters are each in a different location of the hotel and each with a different movie prop when a violent storm hits. Striking the hotel with powerful lightning bolts the storm causes the elevators to plunge uncontrollably and the lights to flicker. I think the lights flickering is the least of your concern when your elevator is plunging, but okay. I mean, I definitely would have like switched those verb clauses around, you know. Oh my god, the lights flickered. <laughs> Never mind that the elevator just plunged down the shaft and I'm trying to read my book. Soon, the terrified cast members discover that one of them is missing from somewhere in the hotel with one of the movie props. Here's where you come in with hundreds of possibilities and loads of clues to investigate. You'll have hours, hours? <laughs> Give your deductive skills to the test. But it's fun. It's fun hours. That's what it says, but I don't know, man. <laughs> it's a lot of effort. Along with your imagination. imagination. Figure out. Imagination. Imagination. It's more time. But now it is officially out of the plastic wrap. Fun fact, I've never played Clue before. Yeah, you know, I don't think we had Clue. I bet that Pete is like a producer or something. Oh, He's you like think? like Mr. Moneybags. Yeah, I mean, he has fur around his collar and stuff. Here's the cast. So the cast is Mickey Mouse as the leading man. Oh. Minnie Mouse as the starlet. Did that zoom in? I think so. Technical difficulties. <laughs> or ghostly difficulties. Yeah. Daisy Duck as the child star. 
Donald Duck as the director, Goofy as the bellhop, and Pete as the agent. Agent. Yeah, so there's a list of props that include things like room keys, scripts, film reels, and locations. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I think these are Oh, those are the props. These are the props. Show them off, mama. Bag of props. Are these more props? No, these are characters. Oh. Ooh. Wow, they put some money into this game. Yeah, they did. Wait a minute. Does that look like it might glow in the dark? It sure does. Hold it up to the light. And as you hold that up to the light, we have a script. We have a reel. I'm getting tired. No. We have the clickety clackety. I like the clickety clackety. Yeah, it's cute, right? Uh -huh. It says Act 3, Scene 13. We got this filmy, really camera thingy with Baba. Yeah, camera's the right word. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's cute. You got a key to your room. That is really cute. Don't we I actually have, have a key to who, who dies from a key? I mean, how do you kill somebody with a key? You jam it in their eye and then push it through to their brain. Are you a little hey. disturbed that I could say that so <laughs> fast? And then my favorite one is this golden Mickey. Yeah, that would be your favorite one. Don't you yeah. have a golden Mickey up here somewhere? Oh. Wait, did that it come left. in again? It sure did. <laughs> it does glow in the dark. Ooh. <gasps> like, why? So you can play this in the dark. You have no idea what you're doing. And it adds to the mystery. But at least you know how far <laughs> you'll go. I need to borrow the key and use it as a weapon to open the board. You know, it didn't start doing this until we did our paranormal stories. Oh. Ooh. All right, so here's the board. Here's Pete. Pete, the agent. Goofy. Why are they on? Podium. Oh, so, they all are. Yeah, they're all oh, okay. I yeah, it's like, not like Mickey and Minnie are like the best or anything. <laughs> Stop focusing on my mother's face and focus on them. All right, and the last. Oh my two. God! Look, look at that from the behind. It looks like a puppet. Oh hey, that worked really well. So there's Donald and Daisy, and there they are from the back, looking like Muppets. And the last piece of this board, we have the rooms. So. Coming back. I'm not made to sit on the ground anymore. The boiler room, the guest room, 1313. The kitchen, the terrace, that's nice. And then you've got your suspects. Oh, I was gonna say villains, but <laughs> yours is much more correct. There's only one of them being a villain, right? Or wait, or is that who? There's a villain and a victim, right? How does this game work? Here's the weapons. I like how they're all like, black and white and then really randomly it's like Mickey here's the board so as you can see this hotel is very oddly set up there's only one guest room in this entire hotel so I don't know how they're turning a profit and it's room 1313 and then there's the library the billiard room oh look there's specific spots for people to start huh. well I'm very suspicious that uh Pete and Mickey are living next to each other. Ooh. Maybe Ooh. something's up that we don't know about. You're next to the Tip Top Club too. So I'd love to talk more about this, but I don't know the first thing about the game of Clue. But here it is. Feast your eyes. And then... Oh, what's that? This is, you put what your cast and your prop and your location. So this is when you're ready to solve the why see is if you're right. Oh, I see. This is so confusing. Why is this game so complicated? It's not. You just have to read this instruction book. So that was the Game of Life and Clue. The Haunted Edition. Mm -hmm. Have you guys played any of these games? And if so, can you kind of clue us in on maybe how to play this one? <laughs> because I have no idea what I'm doing. Yep. This looks fun. It does look like fun. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll play. Game night. Game night. All right, guys. Well, actually, you know what? Someone 
has been watching all of our videos, so would you like to outro us? Stay safe, stay happy, and most importantly, stay you. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Not even my own wife can do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright guys, once again, don't forget to check out their channel, Our Life V3, for so many amazing world adventures. We will see you guys again next time, and until then, we hope you have a magically wonderful day. Bye. Bye.